Hey everybody, this is Patrick from HDRGB. I hope you're all doing well today. In this video, I want to talk about my little monitor I have, my LCD Sony PVM and my Sony PSP and how I am able to basically use the monitor with my PSP using component output. So before we get started, if this is your first time here on the channel, we talk about retro gaming things. So please, if you're interested, give us a big smash of the like button, subscribe to the channel to stay notified, hit the bell if you want to see when the videos come up. And for everyone that's returning, hey man, how, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Guys and gals, thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, you guys are really great and you kind of give me the energy to keep uh, making these videos when at times I, I don't really know if, uh, if anyone would be interested. But at the end of the day, I do these videos because... I want to do them and I like talking about this stuff and for everyone that's uh, down with that, thank you, thank you very, very much. So I'll just get right to the point here and I will sort of uh, just go over the PSP. So um, I recently acquired uh, a newer version of a, of a PSP, there we go, HDRGB. Got to be wearing the t-shirt, man, at all times, you always got to be promoting. So, oh, and by the way, guys, listen, uh, if you have Instagram, please follow and subscribe at HDRGB Consoles on Instagram. We also have a Facebook page. Uh, I'm the one that runs it, Patrick, so you can always say what's up to me, ask me a question, send me a, a direct message, uh, comment below, whatever you want. So anyhow, I picked up this uh, PSP recently, um, and it's sort of just a, a replacement of my old one. So I had the PSP 1000. This is the, uh, what is it, the 3000 model. And all in all, this is just a newer, lighter, brighter screen, uh, but the r real reason I got it is because you're able to use component cables, which the old one didn't have. Now, this is a handheld, so ideally you want to be playing with a handheld, and my first preference is to be using this screen. I think the PSP has a beautiful screen, uh, and there's no real need to play it on a monitor, however, I also do have the monitor, and... It's just sort of fun seeing sort of like what you can get out of it. So um, I'm going to boot this thing up. We're going to show off the screen. Then I'm going to hook up the component cables to the TV and basically just show how that works real, real fast. So here we go. Now, I would say this is my favorite handheld of all time. It's not my first handheld, it's not my most nostalgic handheld, but it is my favorite. And the reason is, is because I'm a sucker for the 32-bit era Japanese RPGs. And essentially what the PSP is, is a PS1 plus 2. I like to call it the PS1.5 because it has a lot of uh, PS1 remakes, re-releases, but also it started releasing games in like the PS2 series, which was, uh, you know which was, which are, you know, like the God of War games, um, the, the, the newer titles that, that came out basically uh, exclusive to the PS2 also came out on the PSP. So really cool to have sort of that like mid-generation. So the screen here looks phenomenal. But we have this cool option here where we could use connected display settings. So if we go here... It'll allow us to switch the output. We can choose, you know, 4x3 or 16x9, depending on the TV. Uh, progressive or interlaced. So, you know, if we have an option, we're always progressive. Okay? Progressive just means everything refreshes at once rather than individual lines. Uh, so you can basically see, like, a, a very, very clear and vivid image. So... This is all set up right, so to get it done, we have to grab ourselves a set of component cables. So you can get the OEM PlayStation component cables, aftermarket knockoffs, whatever. I believe these ones are just Chinese made. I think I paid 10 bucks for them. Uh, you know, they do the trick. So how we do is we hook up this sucker right here. Oh, there we go, in the camera, and locked and loaded, of course, right? So now we gotta turn the sucker around. So when we turn the sucker around, we basically just have everything we need right here. So I use uh, BNC adapters. Oh, sorry for the wobble wobble. Hit the camera. So we use BNC adapters here. Okay. So these are BNCs. Obviously, we need these because we can't hook up RCA into here. You know, doesn't it's not the same connector. So this is a BNC to RCA, which allows it. Bam. Okay. 
And then there's nothing else special you need to do. It's just a little like converter coupler. Okay, so we can zoom this thing a little closer to see what we're doing. So all we're gonna do is plug that guy back in here. And then very, very simply, we're going to get, what do we got here? We got red, green, blue. So two of them are audio, so that's how they separate. Okay, so typically it's red, green, blue, but here I think it's green, blue, oh, red, okay. And then for audio, uh, it's 3.5 millimeter. So I don't, you know, it doesn't take RCA, so we need to use a little converter, just simple. So we plug that into, what is it, audio in, right there, and then we have, we just gotta mix and match, so red on red crime, white on white crime, bam, there we go. Okay, so now we can turn the sucker back around. Let's see, shazam, okay. Monitor's all turned up, ready to go. Let's fire it back up. So now we're in the PSP mode, so we go switch video output. Just hit the button. Do you wanna display output on a connected device? Well, I mean, hell yeah I do, thanks for the warning, so yes, and then there we go. So that's how we're rolling. So now the image here is a lot bigger, which is cool. So rather than using the PSP screen, if you know I want to just uh, do the opposite uh, to what is it called? Station stationary. Turn a portable into a stationary console. There we go. Uh, I can do that now. You don't need to do this, but they have the option. I mean, Sony implemented this option, so why not use it? And so now basically when you're using this, it's like a controller, so you don't need to look at the screen. And you know, you can do whatever. So let's load a game. I think we had Wipeout in here. And then there we go. So now the reason I have the setup is, uh, listen, it's not necessary. I'm just a sucker for these old monitors. I like Sony products. I like Sony TV specifically. And I was able to pick up with this monitor for a relatively inexpensive price. And uh, just having the cables, I said, okay, well, you know what? Let's make a let's make a video out of all this. So, one thing that I noticed here is when you do this, uh, you don't get a full screen here. And um, I talked to people about this and wondering why uh, you get the full screen when you're in the menu, but you don't get the full screen here. And I think it just has to do with uh, the differences in resolution. So the PSP has a resolution in the menu that is different than the resolution in the game. And the TV just seems to pick it up like this. Now on any normal display, you can probably hit like a zoom button, a feature of that sort. I mean, you can go through the menus and things like that. Uh, but this one doesn't seem to have any of that set up. The good news is is it's in 480p, 60 frames per second, uh, so it, it's looking real mint. Um, but still, I, I haven't figured out how to make it. I think if I hook this up in the, through component to a modern TV, like an LCD, assuming it has 480p, so it would display an image, um, I would probably pick up the remote and hit that zoom button or something, uh, which kind of stretches it out. So uh, basically, if you look at it, there isn't much of a reason to use this, right? Because the screen is about the same size as, as the LCD. Uh, if somebody knows, hey, let me know below if there's a way, uh, maybe in the PSP options that I may be missing, how to make this big. Otherwise, sort of this is what we're rolling with. So uh, again, this is just a feature that I was able to test because I have all the necessary uh, cables. So, you know, why not? So let's see if we can just load up a game real fast. Wipe out pure, we're purely wiping out because you have to wipe out in the purest form. You cannot stage such a wipeout. So single race, vector, alpha, this guy, bam, and now we're rolling after we're loading. After we're done loading, then we're rolling. You gotta load, then roll, right? You can't do it the other way. So if I zoom it in a little, so I like to think this looks pretty effing fantastic. The, the good thing is that these things just match up well. We got an LCD uh, TV. We have a... Oh, man. See, my attention span is terrible. Let's go. So, yeah, wipe out. We're purely wiping out. It's all about the pureness of the wipeoutness. So... Anyways, guys, this has just been a little display. I was able to take this monitor up north with me uh, and mess around sort of during the holidays. And I also filmed in tandem another video, which I believe I would will release first, which is the PS2 video. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll leave, uh, what is it, a little uh, thing in the corner, you know, um, 
suggested video, so please check that out. And again, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know below how you play your PSP. Have you tried using the component cables? Did you even know you can get component cables? And uh, maybe you can solve the mystery of the not fitting the screen issue I'm having here. Other than that, I'm going to play some Wipeout today, then I'm going to pick up uh, some Persona for, uh, for the PSP, and uh, maybe play some Suikoden 2 for the PS2. And again, check out that video. So again, thank you guys. Again, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think, and I will catch you in the next video. Enjoy your holidays. Take care.